Welcome to The How of Business with your host, Henry Lopez, the podcast that helps you start, run, and grow your small business. And now, here is your host. Welcome to this episode of The How of Business. This is Henry Lopez. And on this episode, I'm going to share my thoughts, opinions, and experiences related to improving your attention to detail skills and helping your team improve their attention to detail as well. I believe strong attention to detail is critical to becoming a successful small business owner and operating a successful company. To receive more information about the How of Business, including the show notes page for this episode and how you can continue supporting my show and get workshop discounts through a Patreon membership, please visit thehowofbusiness.com. I invite you to attend one of my next online workshops. The workshops that I currently have available include business planning, how to create your financial projections, and how to learn how to manage your cash flow. Visit thehowofbusiness.com to learn more and to register. And remember that a Patreon members receive a discount on all of my workshops. I believe attention to detail is an important skill for small business owners to develop that will help you grow a successful small business. A lack of attention to detail can result in mistakes, errors, and oversights that can lead to lost revenue, unhappy customers or clients, and damage to your company's reputation. Paying attention to detail can also help a small business owner identify new opportunities and make more informed decisions, either as part of the process of, of launching your new business, but certainly as you continue to look for ways to grow your business. Overall, attention to detail can help a small business owner run a more efficient and effective operation, which can ultimately lead to greater success, a more profitable business. When we pay attention to the details that matter, we deliver a higher quality solution and experience that can command a premium in the marketplace. We minimize our expenses through productivity and efficiency improvements, all of that resulting in a more profitable and valuable business. We must be careful, however, not to confuse this attention to detail with perfectionism. I'll return to this point later, but I want you to consider that the focus on details that I'm referring to here has to do with doing the right things right and not trying to do everything right. We're not talking about being 100% all of the time. If you're looking at it from the perspective of an employee, I think being detail-oriented is a skill that you can include on a resume that tells employers that you pay attention to details. You notice the small mistakes and are able to deliver high-quality, accurate work. It really is a soft skill that means that you can learn new job responsibilities and carefully perform them to completion. And if business owners, of course, we should help our staff develop those skills. We should look for those skills, of course, when we're interviewing and considering employment candidates. And it's a worthwhile investment in our people and our teams with benefits both for our businesses while they're with us and for them as they might move on in their careers in life. I think a lack of attention to detail can result in costly and time-wasting mistakes, errors, and oversights that can lead to lost revenue and reduced profitability. You also, as I mentioned, can lose customers, clients, or patients if you don't have that attention to detail on what matters. It can also have a negative impact on your reputation and then over time, the value of your company brand and therefore the value of your business. You can miss opportunities. That lack of attention to detail can lead to missed opportunities in sales, other business opportunities, innovation. And of course, it might mean or result in non-compliance with laws or regulations, which may create a liability exposure for you and your small business. And then worst of all, that lack of attention to detail could potentially lead to injuries to both yourself, your staff, your customers. For some businesses, attention to detail is crucial for safety accuracy and quality. In healthcare, for example, attention to detail can mean the difference between life and death, literally. In construction, as another example, attention to detail can prevent accidents and ensure that a building, for example, is safe and structurally sound and completed to a customer's exacting specifications. So attention to detail refers to your and your team's ability to produce error-free work on a consistent basis. 
doesn't mean that we do it perfectly, but it means that those things that matter, especially those things that impact our ability to produce a solution, a product, a service, an experience for our customers, and the ability to do that as effectively and productively as possible so that we can have an ongoing concern that generates a profit on a consistent basis. In my experience, this is one of those skills that allows us to achieve all of those things. What are some of the causes of poor attention to detail? Well, here are just a few things to think about that I have found in my experience. I think that first and foremost, people may have poor attention to detail because they struggle with focus or organization. Their organization skills might be poor as well. They are not good at planning or maybe they have memory issues. Maybe they're not good at retention. It's also possible as business owners and, and our teams, we, we may just lack the experience or have not focused on developing this critical skill set. Perhaps you have not invested in your own or your staff's development of this critical skill. And you may not have yet developed and implemented the systems or nurtured a culture in your company that produces and demands and expects attention to details where those things are important. The key thing here is to understand, at least from my perspective, I believe it is a skill set that we can all improve on and learn. And even those who have poor attention to detail, I think, can get a lot better by applying certain practices, by working on it, by, by learning how to do it better and focus on developing this skill. So related to that, what does attention to detail involve? Attention to detail skills involves closely reviewing your work and the work produced by your team to identify and correct errors, spot and improve weaknesses, and produce as near perfect an end result when it matters most. Attention to detail means thoroughly completing work with accuracy, producing consistent high quality, and avoiding the, those sloppy and repeated mistakes. Attention to detail skills also involves accuracy, consistency, meticulousness, precision, rigor, punctuality, thoroughness, and exactness. So if, if none of those words are describing your environment today or how you go about doing work, then those are things for you to consider. Because if none of these words are used in your business environment today, then it may be a clue that you have not yet developed the systems or the culture required to execute with attention to detail. i give you an example. You know, let's say a public relations firm is expected to write clearly and accurately and consistently, of course, and even a simple mistake, a simple typo in a communication can impact the perceived quality of their work and reputation. Because how can you trust them with writing an important press release, for example, if their internal communications lack polish and accuracy? So that's an example that I highlight because it's not just about producing a product or a service directly. It can sometimes be attention to detail in the way that we communicate that needs to be improved or it can impact our reputation or the trust that we're trying to develop with either a perspective or an existing customer. So all of those little things matter. It really is a bunch of little things that add up to, as it is with most skills, it's a bunch of micro skills that add up to improving an overall skill like increasing attention to detail, not just for yourself, but for your team. I don't usually use examples of large corporations on this show, but, but I think that there is a lot that we can learn from Toyota, the automobile manufacturer, as it relates to quality and the value of attention to detail. Toyota arguably produces some of the highest quality vehicles in the world, vehicles that are reliable and have overall lower cost of ownership in part because they're shipped with less defects. Toyota has implemented several quality control measures in its manufacturing process to ensure that its vehicles are of high, the highest quality possible. They have implemented a set of principles and practices that focus on eliminating waste, improving efficiency, and increasing productivity. And one of the key elements that they use is just-in-time, which is now very widely known and used. But just-in-time manufacturing is an idea that they really implemented. We're one of the first manufacturers to implement, which ensures that the necessary parts and materials are delivered to the assembly line in small quantities just as they're needed. And so this helps them to minimize the amount of inventory that needs to be stored on site and the related cost, but also creates flexibility for them. Another important aspect of their manufacturing process 
and related to attention to detail is their use of what they call total quality control, which is a comprehensive approach to quality control that involves all employees in the identification and elimination of defects. Everybody works together. This focus on on quality and attention to detail is not just what they do consistently through their system, but it's also part of their culture. Toyota has implemented a Kaizen culture, and I hope I'm pronouncing that Japanese word correctly, which encourages continuous improvement where all employees, as I just mentioned, are expected to identify and report any issues they find and to make suggestions for improvements. This fosters then a culture of continuous improvement, which helps in identifying and eliminating any issues in the manufacturing process. Toyota also has a stringent inspection process where every vehicle goes through multiple stages of inspection before getting cleared for delivery. The final inspection is done by a team of highly trained technicians who meticulously check every part and system of the vehicle to ensure that it meets Toyota's high standards for quality and reliability. So think about how you might be able to implement components of this, you know, depending on the size of your organization, you you probably don't have the staffing that Toyota has, but we can all implement components of this in how we produce our product or deliver our service. All these practices, along with many others, helps Toyota to ensure quality in their manufacturing process. And it's how they develop and execute their attention to detail skills. It's just how they operate. It's part of their culture and part of their systems. I have a new free download available for you on this topic that I'm calling Attention to Detail, a Skill Development Checklist. So go to the show notes page at thehowabusiness.com for this episode and download this checklist. The way that I've put it together, I think it'll help you with whether you're individually working on developing this skill or you're helping a, a team member or a group of people on your team develop this attention to detail. The way I envision you might use it is use it as an, an inventory of micro skills. You know, when you're developing skills, I think you focus on the micro skills, the subset of skills that collectively add up to improving, in this case, your attention to detail or a team member's attention to detail. So go through the list and check off those micro skills that you think you're strong in or that your team member is strong in, and then identify the ones where they might be needing to be developed or enhanced, or it might be a component like a a system that complements or allows us to pay attention to details. Let me just highlight a few of the things that I have on this checklist. I keep mentioning systems, and of course, if you've been listening to my podcast, you know how critical that is to running a successful business. Here, I'm talking specifically about the systems that can help us individually, as well as a team or a group of people to pay attention to detail and deliver the best work product possible. So it could be a checklist, it could be a procedure on how to do something so that we don't forget steps, so that we complete it as accurately as possible or have as high quality as possible. So those systems are things that we need to rely on. That's not something that necessarily is directly a micro skill, but is a support component to us being able to pay attention to detail or have our teams pay proper attention to detail. Now, specifically as it relates to micro skills, Reviewing completed work or some level of audit or separate review process, quality control process. So if we're talking about us, about us individually, reviewing completed work is one of those things that I see that surprises me that people don't take that extra step. We're either rushing or in a hurry or we haven't given ourselves enough time to complete something and, and therefore, we, we rush it out knowing that if we just reviewed it once more, we might catch errors. Or if we have someone else review it, they might catch some of our mistakes before we submit that work. Getting organized using some kind of a task management system if it's a more complex work that needs to be done. That's critical, I think, and helps with making sure that we don't miss anything, that nothing slips through the cracks and therefore allows us to pay great attention to detail in delivering a product or a service. Avoiding multitasking is another thing that uh, maybe is not a micro skill as much as it is a, a way of working that can lead to higher attention to detail. When we try 
to work on multiple things at once. The reality is that we're really not capable of doing so. There's a high switching cost to that, and it leads us to lose our focus and therefore increase our potential for mistakes and lack of attention to detail. I think it's hard to deliver on attention to detail if we're focusing on quantity over quality. Now, if we're manufacturing something, uh, certainly we, we, we have to develop a process, a system, a manufacturing environment that delivers high numbers and relatively high quality. But for most of us, for most of our businesses, we're probably delivering something at a smaller scale. And therefore, we want to think about perhaps slowing down to improve quality and to allow us to pay attention to detail and to allow our teams to pay attention to detail. Minimizing distractions is another big one on the list. So that's a lot about environment, whether it's you individually or if you're trying to help a team member or a group of people on your staff to, to pay more attention to detail, then be mindful of distractions that are impacting their ability or your ability to get quality work done. Another great micro exercise, uh, if you will, related to attention to detail that experts suggest and I see the value of it is attention building exercises. It could be a puzzle, uh, other memory games, crossword puzzles, number, uh, number puzzles, board games, video games even, to train your brain to find patterns and uh, paying attention to details. So that is one way that we can develop this skill set. Related to more helping our employees, our, our staff develop attention to detail, I think as managers, as leaders, as owners, we need to provide very specific and constructive feedback. Now, that could be through the formal review process that you might have in place, but more likely through an informal continuous feedback loop where you provide your team with specific actionable feedback to help them improve that attention to detail one micro skill at a time. Invest in developing not just your skills and in particular the attention to detail skill, but also for your team from, from ongoing coaching that you or your managers might provide to perhaps formal training that you might offer. Invest in your team's development of this skill set. Related to that, catch people doing the right thing. I think that that applies to a lot of things in our work environments that creates a positive environment. Make sure that people know when they're doing it well. It's easier to do a good job knowing what good looks like when you catch it, when you help it be modeled in your environment. So the systems are critical fostering a culture that understands that that's part of the mission of what you're trying to accomplish and how important attention to detail is to achieving that. Motivate yourself and your team to focus on the details that matter. I want to revisit the point I made at the outset about avoiding perfectionism and being paralyzed by perfectionism. I suffer from this greatly, so I understand what I'm talking about here. And we can easily confuse this idea of attention to detail and the importance of attention to detail to mean that uh, you have to be a perfectionist. That is not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about attention to detail on the things that matter most. The, the creation, the delivery of our product, our service, the, the stuff that we do that impacts our customers, our clients, our patients, and the things, of course, that we do internally that allow us to operate effectively and efficiently and safely. We have to look at, as, as business owners, what are those areas that matter most and, and then on the rest of it, and even those things that matter, 80% is often good enough. As it relates to delegating specifically, I do want to refer you to a couple of previous episodes of the How of Business. If delegation is something that you're challenged with or one of your team members might be challenged with, then a couple of episodes for you to consider. Episode 26, so way back in the early days of the podcast, I released an episode that's still completely relevant on the topic of delegation. And then more recently, episode 355, Four Reasons to Delegate and Grow Your Business. As it relates to perfectionism and overcoming that, 
and making sure that that this attention to detail doesn't take you in that direction. Episode 391, Overcoming Perfectionism with Audrey Holst, is a great episode that I would recommend. Audrey and I talk about how do we avoid or how do we not let perfectionism consume us and keeping us from making progress and from growing our small business. I also have a book recommendation for you as I was doing the research and putting together my thoughts on this topic. I came across a book entitled Improve Attention to Detail, a straightforward system to develop attention to detail in yourself, employees, and across an organization by Chris Denny. So to summarize on this topic, here are some of my key takeaways. Developing attention to detail is important for a variety of reasons, as I've tried to share. In your small business, it can result in improved productivity, helping you catch and avoid mistakes, and lead, of course, to higher quality work. It can also help you notice things that you might have otherwise missed and make better decisions and identify new opportunities. That attention to detail can result in all of these things. It's a skill that can and must be developed, not just for yourself, but also for your team. In addition to developing this skill, you must develop and implement the systems and the culture that ensures and values attention to detail for the things that matter most. I encourage you to get the free download, Attention to Detail Skill Development Checklist on the show notes page for this episode at thehowofbusiness.com. I wish you the best as you start and grow your successful and profitable small business. This is Henry Lopez. Thanks for joining me for this episode of The How of Business. I release new episodes every Monday morning, and you can find the show anywhere you listen to podcasts and at my website, thehowofbusiness.com. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to The How of Business. For more information about our coaching programs, online courses, show notes pages, links, and other resources, please visit thehowofbusiness.com.